Hey, how's everyone doing? I appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Kurt with Roadside Guy. We're going to show you how to jump start your old school 07 Bentley Continental. So go ahead and flip the camera around, show you guys how to get this thing started up with a jump start. Hope the battery's good. All right, so if you open up the driver's side door and you go down here to the kick panel, you'll see this little lever here. Go ahead and pull that lever and that'll pop the hood. And then when you come around to the front, You'll see here on the top of the uh, wing emblem, there's a B that pops up, and I'll have the, the customer go ahead and lift that up while I film it. So you just kind of gently lift up on the B, and it lifts up, and then under the hood, we've got some jump points. All right, so uh, when your battery is dead on this vehicle and you want to jump start it, the battery is in the trunk. See here? But there's no, there's no keyhole for you to open this. And there's, when there's no power, you can't hit the trunk release button. So what you got to do is come here under the hood and pop this little cover up. Take these uh, Torx bit screws out here for this cover. And then lift this up. Or remove these screws so they don't fall somewhere. We'll never find them if they fall. Then you'll remove this little cover. Oh, we got one more back here, and uh... all right. And there's one other screw that's back here. I can't really pull it out, so we'll just leave that in, and we'll be careful when we lift this uh, air box cover up. We'll lift it up. We'll keep that screw right there, and we'll just kind of lift that up and out of the way. And then back behind here, there's going to be a jump point. All right. And so, if you stick your finger right under here, like that, and pop that little tab, this little thing will move up and come up out of there. And that is where your positive jump is. And you can put your negative jump here to these, uh, the strut tower bolt for the ground. That'll give you enough power to get the, the car started or the trunk open to where you can jump start it directly to the battery. All right, so we got our NOCO GB150 box hooked up. The uh, battery's reading 12.7 volts. Uh, we're going to have the customer go ahead and try to start it. Go ahead and try it, sir. See what we get. See here we've got our, our positive hook to the jump point, which is behind the cover here that you have to remove. And we've got our negative uh, grounded to the strut tower bolt, which is bare metal. Nothing? Yeah, something. It's not the battery then. See if you can pop the trunk. No? Something else is wrong. There, there must have been a, a fuse or a relay or something that had been blown because uh like i said the, the battery is testing 12.7 which is you know solid it's just about as good as you can get so uh if you're not getting any power at all and it's reading 12.7 then you've got a blown fuse or a blown relay or something in, in the vehicle did you guys try to jump start it before no did anybody change a battery or anything out Right. Yeah, no, this uh it's reading a solid twelve point six volts out here. Let me uh let me just make sure I got a good connection. I'll I'll readjust these connections here. Well I guess I do got a good connection if it's reading. Because it wouldn't read if it didn't have a connection. So yeah, we have a good connection. I'm gonna put it on both of those. Okay. All right, just hold one more second. Try to pop the trunk now. You got power now? 
All right, hold on one second. Okay, so I made the connection a little bit better here on the back. We weren't getting a good enough connection, so I spread the, uh, the clamp to uh, land on both of those bolts right there, kind of give it a little bit more tension. We're reading 12.2 volts now. Go ahead and try it, sir. See if it'll start. Yeah, we might, we might get lucky. All right, we got the trunk to pop there, so we're getting power now. Nothing? Okay. All right, let me have you come hold the hood one more time and I'll disconnect this box from here and take it to the battery. Yeah, but at least not showing the hood on the trunk over the door. Right, we're getting progress. Yeah. All right. It might take multiple boxes. I might uh, put this box on the battery and I might put another box on this jump point to give it enough because this box is only at 50%. And with her leaving the light, huh? Oh, you didn't know it popped. Oh, got you. Back here to our positive, the best that I can. All right, get our negative over here yeah there we go now we're getting a true reading so you see here now the box is reading 4.8 uh, that that's correct that's what we should be seeing we shouldn't be seeing 12.7 in a in a car that's dead we should see 4.8 in a car that's dead so that's good we're gonna grab this other jump box all right so I got the GB 70 box hooked here to the jump point and I've got the GB150 box hooked here to the main battery in the back. And so now we should be able to get this thing rolling. We're gonna go ahead and hold this hood and we'll have the customer try it again. All right, try it, sir, please. This should definitely get it started. Twin turbo Bentley. <laughs> Sweet. We got nothing still. All right, there we go. That's how you get it going, buddy. All right, we'll go ahead and disconnect our our box here. Put our cover back. First thing we're going to put back is our, our little battery jumper cover. Yeah, I might have to have you hold the hood one more time. All right, and we'll put that cap right back in there, nice and tight against the firewall. You should be able to hear it snap. There we go. And then we'll grab our cover here. Put that. Back. Yeah, we got that one screw in the back. That's gonna line us right on up. And we we can kind of tell we got it lined up there. And we had our big boys up here in the front. Yeah, this guy was a long one. And then these over here are the medium ones. There we go. Alright, one over there. And I didn't have a uh, torx wrench, which a uh, torx wrench with me, which I usually do, but I did not. So I very carefully just used a small uh, flathead screwdriver. Just be sure not to, you know, if it's on too tight and you're using a flathead screwdriver, don't strip the bolt out. Uh, this isn't the real proper way to do it, but it'll get the job done in a pinch. You just want to be careful not to strip these bolts out or to scratch them up. All right, you guys, I hope...